After you install the Graphene OS firmware, you'll find an icon in your app drawer labeled Auditor. This is an application that allows you to verify if the firmware you have installed is actually clean and legit, meaning there hasn't been anything that has messed with or changed the authenticity and integrity of the operating system. But not everyone is aware of how this works. So let's take a look. To verify your Graphene OS install using the local method, we're going to need two different smartphones. The one that you have Graphene OS installed on, and then another one running at least Android 12 or higher. You will already have that Auditor app installed on your Graphene OS phone, but if you removed it for one reason or another, you can install it again through the built-in App Store. But the Auditor app also has a page in the Google Play Store as well. And I'll have that Google Play Store page linked down below, so you can easily tap on that to find it. Now, when we have both apps installed, we're gonna tap on the Audity option from the Graphene OS phone. That's going to give us a camera viewfinder. And then we're going to grab our other device and we're, we're gonna tap on the auditor option. So this is going to give us a QR code and we just take this and scan that QR code from our Graphene OS device. With that done, we tap the QR code over here, and this changes to a camera viewfinder. And we do the same on this phone. Give it a couple of seconds, and you'll see this change to a screen like this. If everything goes smoothly, then you'll get a message like this telling you that your verification went successfully, and then it will display some other details about that device. However, if your bootloader is unlocked or if you have rooted your phone after Graphene OS was installed, then you will get a different message because that means the firmware is not secure as it could be, either due to that unlocked bootloader or due to the modified file system from those root binaries. But as long as you avoid installing a root mod and you relock the bootloader after it has been installed, then you will get a response like I just showed you. So let me know if you didn't see a page like that or if you ran into any issues following this guide. And I'll do my best to help out however I'm able to. Just please do not forget to give this video a like Click on that new hype button that's displayed below this video and subscribe to the channel too for more Android tips like this.